Hey guys, it's Nathan from KR Wireless. Going to take you through our 450i install. Uh, Link Planner says we should get 115 megs through it. Expected receive. I punched in all the coordinates, the heights, the antenna sizes. Says we should be good to go here. So, just a simple little video here of us doing the install that day. Bottom backhaul here is the 450i. Kind of zoom in here. Recorded this with a Phantom 3 professional drone. It's only about the uh, third or fourth time I've flown this since I got it for Christmas. So we'll go up here and then we have a Force 110 P2P feeding the tower. That's ours as well. And then we may cut to the video of our access points kind of at the top of the tower. This this is not our not our gear here. We're up higher here. And we've got uh, a mix of Cambium Networks PMP 450 access points here and some EPMP 1000 access points as well shooting in 90 degree patterns and they've been very very good all the Cambium Networks products we use have been fabulous they just work don't have any real issues with them uh, don't have to babysit them if you keep them in clean frequencies and power to them you don't really have much problems so it's kind of showing you the height of the tower here Maybe if we can zoom in and get a closer look at this 450i Kind of show you what it looks like on the tower here. And with the two foot dish, it was kind of a, a heavy pull getting up the tower. This being an FM tower, I highly recommend you ground and shield every single thing uh, or you'll have problems, especially with the 200 foot runs. But the other side of the link here is about eight and a half miles to a grain leg and we'll, we'll go to that video next of it after we scroll down here and shamelessly promote KNR Wireless but so far the link's been very stable we chose the 450i product because we needed something really reliable for that kind of distance we didn't feel like the force dish would work but we wanted something a little bit more beefier um, we've actually tried this force dishes not going nine miles before and they've worked totally fine um, We just felt like we needed something a little beefier here And uh, I feel like we got it with the 450i it's a very solid product So after we After we land the drone here, we'll go um, Oh, yeah so we didn't even have the link aimed right at all and um, we were still getting 92 mags aggregate at the you know at the at the link test so I thought that was pretty impressive we weren't even we were just general just generally aimed in the right direction and weren't even linked up and it was still getting 92 mags so I thought that was pretty impressive here's the here's the grand leg we're on eight and a half miles away and we, we installed this first actually then went to the tower installed and so this is our second trip back here after some weather uh, fine-tuning the alignment of the backhaul unit itself which um, usually we take three or four climbs just to get it dialed in perfectly it's even at this point right here at this video it's not 100 percent perfect but I'll show you the link planner test. It's, um, so this is just feeding an a EPMP 1000 Omni uh, made by KP Performance. Excellent Omnis. Um, just kind of feeding out here in the middle of nowhere in Altamont, just north of Altamont, Illinois. Should be more than enough for what we need there. So. Once we got it aimed better, 
Uh, the link planner test was just dead on. Just dead on. Cambium Networks makes it easy. Thanks, guys.